I'm meteorologist Matt Gray. Halloween is almost here. We've had some cool, almost winter-like mornings across the inland northwest lately. We are going to start to pull out of that, but we also will see some gathering clouds and a pattern change that will not only bring us warmer weather, but also some rain as we head into the back end of the week. So as you plan your Monday, you've got to send the kids off to school, you got to head back to work, whatever you're doing, don't plan too differently than what you did for this weekend. We're not quite there just yet. We're still going to see low 20s, even some upper teens in the morning. So you'll still probably want uh, a nice uh, couple of layers along with perhaps some gloves or a hat, depending on your preference. Now, as we get into the afternoon, that's where we're going to start to see those changes. Temperatures will, instead of uh, topping out in the low 40s at best, will start to push up closer to the middle 40s and even upper 40s close to 50 degrees in some areas, so that is going to be quite a noticeable change, especially with all the sunshine we're going to see for the start of the week. So here are some places that will drop into the teens as we take a look at the Spokane and Coeur d'Alene metro region. 17 down to, down to that in Deer Park in the morning, 18 in Spirit Lake and in Mead. See things slightly warmer on the I-90 corridor. Either way, it is going to be another frosty start to the day and a frosty start to the week, just as we've seen over the past couple of mornings. And here are those afternoon temperatures. Could even pop up to 50 degrees very briefly around the Spokane Valley area. Overall, this is just our first little bump up in what will be a much bigger rise as we get into uh, the back end of this upcoming week. Speaking of the back end of the week, let's take a look at your extended forecast to the forecast radar. As we head into Tuesday, we're going to start to see the clouds begin to take over our forecast as moisture streams in from the Pacific, and that's going to help us warm up quite a bit, especially during the overnight hours. Now, we stay dry through Wednesday, so we don't have to worry about rain chances, and we're going to be warm enough that it should basically all be rain chances. Snow, chan or snow levels are going to be right up around six, 7,000 feet. And as you can see here, by Thursday midday, it is a little soggy out there. And we do expect a pretty soggy Thursday and then off and on rain showers all the way from Friday through this upcoming weekend. So another period of extended wet weather, but also warmer weather.